Hi, welcome to another episode of the CE Tool Then. And on today's video, we're going to test and review the all-new Craftsman V20 band file. So let's get to it. All right, so the new for the model number of this new band file, it's going to be CMCW211B. So this is a bare tool. This does not come in a kit. So make sure you have batteries and chargers. Okay, we're gonna, this is on the V20 platform. This is a half inch. This has a speed of zero to 300 on 3,950 feet a minute. It's got three speeds. Uh, it's got a three speed dial over there. So I don't know what the other two speeds are. It just says right there. Um, it's got a belt width of a hundred, uh, half inch. Uh, belt length of 18 inches. Tool weight is two and a half pounds. Included in this set is the power file itself. It's got an offset arm, which I'll show you. So here's the here's the tool itself. There you go. And the arm that comes with it, it's a straight arm. And we'll get more into that in a minute. But it has an offset arm. So you can do like curves and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is something like I have... Like the Ryobi version of this, and it's nowhere near as technical as this one. This one's definitely not power-wise. I don't know how, the, I forgot what the power is on the Ryobi. But this one has a few more features than the Ryobi one. It comes with three belts. And let's see, this one's 120 grit, 240 grit, and what's this other grit? can't really tell because the numbers are cut off on this so just verify with the with the package oh 120 okay so 120 and 240 belt I didn't tell you what the third belt is oh 80 grit okay so the one that I can't see is an 80 grit so I'm just gonna have to make sure I mark that it does have this uh, vac port that DeWalt uses uh, I don't. I forgot what this what this was called, Advantech or something like that. Advantage, I don't know. But I've been seeing it more on these Craftsman V20 tools, so it's going to be compatible with some kind of VAC system uh, in the DeWalt and Craftsman platforms. Thanks to Black and Decker for doing something pretty cool like that. It does have these two holes, so you can attach to the the tool itself. So I'm guessing it goes right here. I'm not going to do the attachment things today, but it's got this port here where the sawdust comes out of, and it's got a screen. So here's the two mini screws for the vac port. Let's see what else does it say. Straight arm and offset arm, we know that. Tool free belt release, which is awesome. The three speed dial, it's got a lock on button here, right there. So if you need to sand without having to get your hand cramp cramping up or whatever, you can just put the lock button on while you're sanding and not have to worry about the trigger. Uh, it's got it's a, got a variable speed trigger and the three speed dial. So the speeds are one, two, and three, and we'll get into that. There, unfortunately, there's no light on this, so just be aware of that. So here's the three speed dial. One, two, three. You can only stop on the one, two, and three. There's no half half in half out you can't really s stop there so the, the the detents are for one two and three here is your safety lock trigger lock oh, i have it on right there locked that's your lock button for the, the trigger so make sure you have this on unlock so you can act activate the the trigger so there it is and then to control the lock you got to squeeze the trigger Push that button in, and the trigger is locked back. And then to undo the lock, you just press, press the trigger again. This has some awesome features, like everything I showed you, as usual. Thank you, Craftsman, for continuing the probably the best grip in all of tools. Look at that. That sweet, sweet, sweet tr uh, grip. So, we also have... This twist knob 
this lock locking tab to unthread this so you can take out the 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 straight arm and you can install the offset arm see that show you the difference that's pretty neat and the way you load the the sand the sandpaper is through the bottom right here you so basically what you have to do is turn the lever up and this will go down so this goes down with the lever up and then you put let's find that 80 grit okay so we're going to use the 80 grit for this test i don't want to waste the the good stuff 80 grit's very easy to find the other ones are kind of hard so basically that's what you do easy peasy look how fast that was and then you make sure you you got it on straight too i do not have it on straight that's going to be the the tough part is making sure this is straight because right now it's kind of hard to once you put it in this slot it's kind of hard to reach maybe if you get a screwdriver flathead screwdriver you'll be fine but i think i got it on straight now kind of hard to tell with the camera in front of me but look at that locks it up and the thing is nice and straight we're going to put it on speed three uh, i'm not going to put the the vac dust port because i want to see the dust uh, shoot out of the the port over here it's pretty nice all right let's get a battery and start putting this to use okay we have a four amp hour battery on this fully charged I, as I was putting the battery on, I, I tested it out a little bit to hear the sound and the belt. So make sure your belt, when you put it on, it's just going to cover just the rubber, the wheel here. So it's going to be a little bit to the side, to the right of the of the the arm over here, the straight arm. So you're going to still have this part showing. So that's the way that it sets itself up. And that's what it sounds like. That's on speed three. Let's see here what speed two sounds like. That's two, and then speed one. Yeah, that's a big difference. So you could definitely feel the power on this. This is, by the way, this is a brush tool. It's not brushless RP, but I do not expect this to make that a deal breaker because it's not a deal breaker. So let's see what this tool can do with the 80 grit on the corner edge of this what well, actually let's get a a pencil too and try out try out the thing over here so we're going to do remember this is only like a half inch strip so just be mindful of that so we just did a pencil right there let's see what how the 80 grip performs on this I'm going to put some glasses on. This is not a very loud tool. Let With a tool like this, you're going to... It's preferable to let the tool do the work. Don't, like, push on it. You know what I mean? Just keep it... You know, let the tool do the work. Just like with any orbital sander or anything like that. So, let's put it on lock. High speed. Holy crap. Okay, that is very powerful. And that's by letting the tool do the work. I definitely put... Let the tool sink in a little bit. So let's try this over here. But this time very lightly. So this is going to be really good on metal. So this is me on the... I think, like I said, fully pressed speed three. This thing really takes off a lot of, a lot of wood. So let's try this on speed two at its highest. This is why this tool doesn't need to be 
doesn't need to be uh, brushless. This is perfectly fine brushed. And it's, look how powerful it is. So let's try the edge over here. All right. That's now we're on speed one. So if you're woodworking with this and not doing metal work, with, I recommend speed one and going really light on the trigger because this will definitely chew up whatever you're working on. You can, you can mess up your project real fast. And this is using 80 grit. So it's telling me, this is telling me that there is some power over here. By the way, you have a little screen over here. It's cleaning screen. Again, there's no light on this, so it is what it is. But you're definitely going to be chewing through material with this. So you got to be careful. Let's try, let's try the offset. So let me get to you and try the offset. I'm going to take the battery out. And show you how to change this thing. So we're going to take the belt out. So you pull the lever up. Scoop the, the the sand belt that way, and basically, all you have to do is undo this lock nut on the tab. You got to also be mindful. There is a spring here, a set spring, so it sets up everything straight. So just make sure that make sure you got a, a hold on the arm so it doesn't like spring out at you. Just know that that's like that. So see the orientation? This little tab at the bottom faces the spring area. So make sure you do that with your offset because the offset arm has that tab too. So make sure you have that all set up. Make sure you line up your hole and your threaded hole on the offset arm. And let me put this on. So make sure you line it up and put thread in the locking nut there right there and I'll be with you right back in a second okay here is the offset arm as you can see now this, we have that offset and here's the straight one let's see how this this works with the 80 grit this is kind of heavy on if you look at it because of the this arm thing it's a little heavy on to the left if you have it you're trying to stand it up it's going to be a little bit it's going to tip over, so just be mindful of that. This one's going to be a little bit tougher to put on the belt, but just make sure you have an 18 inch belt with this. This type of tool, because that's what it takes, 18 inch. All right. All right, so this is the offset base. So let's see how good it does doing rounded work. So this this is gonna round over something that you're working on, whether it's wood or metal. So just take a look right there. See that you got a lot more play. So let's see. Let's round one of these things over. Right now we're on speed one. Look at that. That really took out a lot. And that's speed one. Right there. Pretty awesome like how how powerful this is. And like I said, this is a brush tool and it's really powerful. Let's take a look at this corner here and see how it does. All right, so it definitely rounded it over. Let's go, let's jack it up to speed three and see how good this. So as you can see, it really rounded this edge over really good. Like this is very powerful.
and it's done a good job. But if you're trying to do something, some finesse work with this, you're gonna have to really go light on the trigger. So this is speed three light on the trigger. You're probably better off starting at one light on the trigger. See, that's full, full boat on one. And like I said, it's very quiet. That's as light as you can go on the trigger. So it is, it's a very powerful tool. It, this is not going to be great if you're trying to remove a light amount of material. Unless you're really careful. You got to literally, literally keep your eye on it. And you got to go, I, I recommend speed one as light as you can go and try to like really hold yourself back a lot with this, with a tool like this. So you don't mess up on a, on a project that you're trying to finish or, you know, sand and you only doing some very light work with this because this will take material off. This will definitely take material off of metal. Too. So see what it did? It polished. It took the black out of the screw. Now we'll do it again to this other screw. We'll see. So you can see the, the, and this is what we're using by the offset arm. So I, I should probably be using the, the straight arm. But All right, see that's it it polished it took off that all that black. So let's see how good it does in taking out the roundness over. It. That screw is flat. That is real flat. Speed 3 all the way. It took off like it was nothing. So we're definitely chewing through the metal. It is smoky right now. It's hot. But you get you get my drift here when it comes to this type of stuff. This is a very, very powerful tool. Let's see what we are. Still full charge. I totally love this tool. I'm if I I do a lot of woodworking. If I do woodworking, I definitely have to be very careful. With this tool because this is extremely powerful it's if you're going to be doing fine woodworking either don't use it for this or if you're going to use it because you have to knock off a little tab make sure you have control of the tool and be mindful how of what you're standing and how how far you got to get to i definitely recommend this it's not brushless but it doesn't need to be it's brushed and it is very powerful and I can imagine when you have the, the dust port, that'll aid you in getting rid of all the dust that comes out and not trying to clog the little filter screen here, which is good. I love this tool. This is definitely going to be used in the shop. I like it a lot. So if you like this video, hit the like button, sub, subscribe, share, hit the bell for notifications. Until the next time. Signing off. Have a good day and good night.